Hi guys, 650 days of war, starting from the southern war zone. On Kherson front, Ukrainians made a small advance towards southern part of Krinky in the plantation area. They also established a new bridgehead as per ISW in below Rudov, but Russian army counterattacked and retook this bridgehead. On Zaporizhia front, towards Oriko sector, Ukrainians are by and large now defensive in most of the areas. However, they attacked west of Rabotino and north of Verbov without any gains. Russians carried out limited offensive towards Verbov and Novoprokopovka. Yet no gains. In Rimivki salient no changes. Russians electronic subsystem position in Polog was hit and sustained damages. The hit was from the Ukrainian UAVs. In north, Russians repelled a Ukrainian attack on Sinkovka site. Towards Swatovo, the fight is continuing. Serebryansky forestry, Ukrainians attacked and also towards Torsky but without any gains. Liman, Ukrainians counter attacks from Yampovka, Yampulovka and Chervolovka and Divrova position without any success. In East on Bakhmut front, Russian army continues their offensive operations towards northwest and west of the city. They have strengthened their Khromov control zone. Towards south, fight is on towards north of Klishivka and Andrivka without any changes. On Avdivka front, the Russians have been expanding their control zone in the industrial zone area. In south, small gains for the Russians towards Siverne. In north also battle is taking place towards Stepov, Novo Kalinovo with minor gains and in north of Krasnohorivka. Marinka no major changes, Ukrainians are holding northwest Marinka on the outskirts. They are also bringing reinforcement. In this area, Russians are cleaning up the outskirts house to house which is under their control now. Towards Ugledar, Gorlovka, no changes. To sum up the situation, let us see what ISW has to say. It says that Russian army carried out offensive all along battle lines especially on Kupian Swatovo Kremina near Bakhmut and Ovdivka, southwest Donetsk city, Donetsk Zaporizhia border, and west of Zaporizhia, and made some gains wherever it carried out offensive. It doesn't talk about Kharson situation, where on the eastern bank of Nipper River, the Ukrainians still are continuing their offensive operations. As far as interdiction mission and war of attrition is concerned, it is continuing as before. On Palestinian-Israeli war front, Israel has expanded its ground operation all along the war zone. Death of civilians is continuing and as before, Israelis have issued orders to Palestinian population to get out of Gaza. Just short of 2 million Gaza population have been displaced or almost 80% of them as per UNO. IDF ground operation continuing all along the war zone as I said in north and east of Saladin Road leading to Al Birka town. In north IDF has restarted assault on Zabalia city and controlled most of Falouza. In the meantime, 
अंडर यू एन स्पॉन्सरशिप यू एन क्लाइमेट चेंज कॉन्फ्रेंस सी ओ पी ट्वेंटी एट हैज टेकन प्लेस इन यू ए एंड ऑल द टॉल क्लेम्स एंड अश्योरेंसेस है गिवेन दैट द वर्ल्ड लीडर्स विल स्टॉप क्लाइमेट डिग्रेडेशन एंड एज फार एज क्लाइमेट चेंजेस आर कंसर्न टूवर्स द वर्स कंडीशन is continuing without any stop the people world over are losing their purchasing capacity though the gdp world over is rising may be small may be large that is not important what i want to say is that gross domestic product nominal or whatever you call it it has no bearing on the people's welfare their empowerment their outlook whether it is scientific or logical is not there the situation is worsening all around for them and future is bleak unless the course of direction where the globe is leading to the humanity is moving to it changes drastically well that brings an end to my talk today hopefully see you tomorrow as i am very busy these days thank you